Okay, well, I'm waiting for my uh, tool to come in so I can take out the smaller pistons. My large ones, I'm going to refinish them. The, the, the one had a few little marks in it. You know, what I did is I used some 2,000 grit, and then I hit it again with some 5,000 grit. Now I'm going to polish it, and once I get done polishing it, I'm going to clean it with acetone. So... Put a little bit of polish and compound on that. Good, I guess. Now, what I'm going to do to take the residue of the wax off of this, because I'm using uh, 3M aluminum polish. Now, to take that residue, because this that that will probably cake up on the O-rings. So, I'm going to clean that. Before I install these permanently, guys, I'll clean it again. You know, because I'm, I'm going to, uh, once I get these other little pistons out, I'm going to run these on the buffer a little bit. Then we'll blow everything out before we assemble it. You know, that's just, uh, I'm going to press do the bottom too. Look at the bottom of that. You know what, I don't think I have to do the bottom. Nothing on the ridge. I think this one here is cool. We'll, we'll, now this is what I'm going to do to all four pistons. I did check my rear caliper. My rear caliper is cool. Before I install these, all my, the inside here, I'm going to clean this with either uh, acetone or alcohol. Then once I set my pistons in, we'll clean, we'll clean these again. And then we'll reinstall the dude. Okay, that one ready to go. Now you see, so we're going to hit this one here in the buffing wheel too. Let me put some of my uh, 3M aluminum polish on that, and we'll run that under the buffing wheels. All right.
big difference, guys. Big difference. That way there, they're like a mirror. They'll uh, give adequate, adequate power. Adequate sealing. All right. Now we have to wait for the tool to come in. I got that little Motion Pro tool that's about that big. Because I think for this application here, I was actually able to lift this one up a little bit more with air. This one here, I can't. So once uh, my little tool comes in, we'll stick it in there and we'll see if we can jiggle it back and forth where we lift up on it. You know, they say you can put, you can apply a little bit of heat to these two. I'll see, maybe I will apply a little bit of heat to it because I'm replacing, I'm replacing these uh, flat O-rings anyway. So now we have to wait for the tool. Well, guys, I'll tell you right now, Big Dog sent me the wrong part. Okay, as you can see. And this was for the year of my bike, okay? As you can see, all the O-rings are the same size, and this is smaller, so there's no way these O-rings are going to fit in that little opening. Um, the, the, the tool, the Motion Pro tool, came in. I already got one out. It's very easy to pull it out with this, actually. Now, if you think these things are tiny, you're mistaken. These are super tiny, bro. So what we're going to do is I'm going to apply a little bit of heat. Count to about 20, 4 Mississippi, 5 Mississippi, 6 Mississippi. 8 Mississippi, 9 Mississippi, 10 Mississippi, 11 Mississippi, 12 Mississippi. Alright, that's good enough. Hold on, guys. Yeah, I can't believe they sent me the wrong part, bro. They're supposed to be so accurate, huh? Supposed to know everything about these bikes. They make them. Sent me the wrong part. I'm not going to over tighten that. Sorry, guys. This house here, man. I have so much junk around here. So much crap around here, it's not even funny no more. Okay, we're getting at the pool. Let me tighten my vice grips up just a little more. All right, this should pull out now. Okay, comes out real easy with this little guy. But yeah, there's uh, there's no way that gasket set is for this bike. No way. There, there ain't no way that's going to fit in there. It fits in the larger ones. I hope. I hope it even does that. But what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to look back on their website. I also have Dennis Kirk. Also, I can look on their website. I know they have. I, I saw the smaller gasket set on Dennis Kirk. So, uh... Mm -hmm. That's the next thing we're going to do. I'll tell you what. I'll take these out with you guys. Okay, guys. So this little tool works. Now, I did it with heat. It might have worked without heat. 
Now, when, if you think this thing is small, that's an understatement, bro. This is tiny. Okay, here's my pinky right here. I got all the pistons out. I also got the O-rings out. Um, I tried those O-rings. They don't work. Okay, maybe that's for the rear caliper, so I'm going to hold on to it. I'm not going to even try to return it to Big Dog. I got a kit off of eBay that's supposed to be for this, my bike. And according to the picture, it looks like it's the proper O-rings. I got a rebuild kit that's going to replace the, uh, actually it comes with the brake pads. You know, the, my brake pads are new, but it comes with the brake pads. It comes with the, um, it comes with that little clip up here that, uh, it comes with this, this pin here. It comes with uh, a new pin here. And it also comes with a new bleeder valve. Okay. So these are going to be rebuilt. Probably this winter I'll probably be doing the rear one as well. I'll probably have to do the rear one too. Now the, um, you know what, matter of fact, I, I didn't even check the, uh, the banjo fitting. They may have sent me wrong one of them too. Let me go check that. Check it out, guys. Now I haven't opened this yet. Take a good look. Do you see any copper washers in there? When you look at their display on Big Dog, they show this with two copper washers. I, I swear this company got it in for me. I swear to God they do. Now lucky for me, I have two from a prior rebuild. You know, and... Um, I think I have my two old ones somewhere around here. Let me look. Yeah, I have my two old ones. So how do you like that? They didn't, they, they didn't even uh, supply me with those either. And I'm telling you, I just opened this. So let's see if this is even any good. This may not even be any good either. <clears throat> Where the hell is my other piece of the caliper at? There it is. I was going to say, how can I lose a big shiny thing like this? Oh, wait a minute. Here, yeah, I was going to put it in here. This goes on the bike. Let me let me go see, guys. Okay, this, this works. Yeah, how do you like that? They didn't even give me the goddamn copper uh, crush washers for this. So, let's see if these are the same size as the original ones. Okay, they're the same size. All we got to do now is we'll refinish these little ones and in about probably about three or four days my kit will come in and uh, hopefully maybe I can get this done. Uh, let me tell you, I want to tell you guys a little something what happened to me with Big Dog about two years ago. Might have even been three years ago when I replaced when I got the LED light for uh, the, uh, I replaced the regular halogen filament with the LED one. Um, the LED filament I have in here now is, is, is Chinese. It's not, I didn't buy that from Big Dog. So I wanted to get the one from Big Dog. And this is right when the coronavirus started. Okay, and they were selling them on eBay, and they had they had many of them. Quantity they had quantity that was like I think it was like a hundred of them or something like that. So I ordered it. They took my money. Then they turned around and said, uh, "We don't have any. It's out of stock." And then I went on Amazon. I went on Amazon also. The same part was on Amazon quantity was a lot. They weren't out of stock on Amazon. So I had a, I said a couple choice words to them and I think they remembered my name and that's why they're jacking me off to this day whenever I order something from them. You know, and now I understand why people that have these motorcycles, they sell them and they get a Harley Davidson because 
these are very hard to get parts for. Very hard. I mean, you can get the parts, but you got to really hunt around for some of these damn parts. And uh, so far, the service that I'm getting from Big Dog Motorcycles in Kansas is crap. I mean, they either have people there that don't know their ass from a freaking hole in the wall, or they're doing this shit on purpose to me. So, like I said, I'm not going to even... I'm not going to even return this, okay? I'm not going to even return this. I'm not going to waste my time re waiting for them to reply to me. And uh, I'm not going to waste my time even trying to return this. You know, it'll go there. If, if it doesn't fit the back brakes, it's going to go in the garbage where it belongs. So, the Motion Pro Hickey works, guys. And uh, I'll see in about three or four days, hopefully, this new kit I'm getting works. And yeah, I'm a little pissed, too. I am. I expected them to know what the hell kind of parts they got in their motorcycles. I expected that. Apparently, I can't trust them either. Hey, guys. I'm going to walk you through exactly what I did. Okay, first, we're going to go on shop here. Parts and accessories. Okay, it comes up with a quick order parts search. We're going to put our year in. 2006. Okay, you see it with your own eyes. 2006. Model. Ridgeback. Parts category. Brakes. View parts. Okay. <clears throat> this is what this is one of the things I bought here. It didn't come with these two crush washers. Okay. Next page. This is page two of the brakes. Okay, this is it right here. As you see, if you don't want to buy the whole kit that comes with the pads. This is supposed to be for my 2006. Okay. Front and rear caliper seal rebuild kit. Front brake caliper rebuild kit. We'll click on this one here. Okay. Front and rear brake caliber seal rebuild kit for 2000 to 2016 all models. Factory brake caliper seal kit for, for, for rear brake calipers on 2001 to 16 Big Dog Motorcycle will also fit front brake calipers on 2000 to 2003 models. Now, I don't remember which one of these I bought. There's doesn't have uh, doesn't have any numbers on here. Okay, let's go to this next one then. We don't have any part numbers on her. I don't know which one of these I bought, guys, to be honest with you. There's no part number on here.
Nevertheless, if I got this one here, which I think this is the one I bought, why would it say front and or rear brake caliper seal kit, rebuild kit for 2000 to 2016 all models? So you click on that again. There's, there's absolutely, there's no, uh, there's no numbers on these. I can't even make it out on the package. Okay. Regardless, um, they were very rude to me through the emails. Their, their customer service is piss poor in my opinion um, trying to find parts for these bikes guys is so hard it's not even the fact that they're expensive it's just hard to find the parts for them and as of right now I'm gonna try to sell the bike if I can't sell it I'm gonna trade it on something <clears throat> as soon as I get my brakes done I'm gonna try to sell it if I can't sell it uh, I might try to trade it in for a Harley Davidson you know, because with Harley Davidsons, uh, there's a lot of Harley Davidson dealerships. Uh, the parts are, are all over the place, and uh, now I understand why everyone goes to Harley. I understand why, and I'm going to too probably. You know, it's like it's like with the uh, the email they sent me, the uh, wh whatever they're shipping to me. I have no idea what they're shipping to me. You know, you would think at least. You know, these, these bikes aren't selling like hotcakes, okay? Their company's probably just hanging on. You, you would think they would take care of their customers, at least be a little kind to the customers, especially one that has a YouTube channel centered around a big dog motorcycle. There's not too many people doing that now. You know, you would think they would at least say, oh, by the way, we're sending you these crush washers. Because, because we didn't include them in the package. I have no idea what they are. Okay, we finally got the right set. Uh, let me see the part number for this. Double O five three dash three nine oh three. And there you go, guys. They're really easy to get in. Make sure it's seated. We'll do the big one. Get this one here. Get the small one in first.
Make sure they're seated. There you go. When you have the right parts, they go in without a problem. Okay, we finished buffing the little pistons. So we got all four of them buffed. Pop the top of this. There we go, we'll do it with the switchblade. All right. That goes in really nice and easy. That one in. Okay. Seat them all the way down, wipe any residue off. Now where those little O-rings go, make sure that's clean. We're going to put them in there and uh, we're going to close this up. Hey guys, I got my caliper assembled. I got it on the bike. All I got to do now is bleed the front brake. Um, I went by the torque specs. The, um, the banjo is 18 foot-pounds <clears throat> the caliper bolts that hold the caliper together are 25 pounds you know 20 25 foot-pounds the mounting bolts that mount the caliper to the bike are 40 foot-pounds I use Loctite on the bolts that mount the caliper to the, the to the uh, motorcycle. I did not use Loctite 
on the bolts that hold the two caliper halves together. Uh, there was no Loctite on those, so, you know, I only use Loctite on the caliper that mounts to the bracket on the bike. Uh, you guys seen the, uh, the pistons went in real good, you know. I think that's a good thing to do to polish the pistons. That way you, you get all the wear marks out of them. If there's any slight scratches, that gets them out. I think that's a good thing to do. <coughs> Um, as for Big Dog, you know, I might have ordered the wrong part. I might not have. Okay. There is, there is two kits on there. I guess what I should have did is I should have called them. You know, but you have to understand something. Um, I went by the quick search thing, and that brought up that one that I bought. It brought that up. Um, what they told me, they told me that was for 2005. If that's for, if that's for 2005, then why is it it says it's good for all those years, which includes mine? Now, if I would have bought the other kit, that would have been for mine. Okay. So, you know, who, who, who's wrong and who's right? Um, I can tell you one thing. The customer's always right. And they did not... They didn't do me like that. Um, I still don't know what they sent to me. They, they never... They, you know, they, they apparently they're, they're mailing something to me. I have no idea what it is. They couldn't even have said, Oh, hey, we're mailing you... The, uh, the banjo washers, um, you know, we're sorry they didn't come in. It was our mistake they didn't come in the, you know, because you guys seen that the banjo comes with these two washers, okay? I didn't lose them. They didn't jump out of the package. I opened that up. They were not in there. You know, which I had two new ones from uh, a previous kit anyway, so it, it doesn't matter. Whatever they're sending me in a mail, it's it just it's too late. Everything's done. I, I, whatever they're sending me, I don't need it. Uh, the kit I bought off eBay is the proper kit. It came with new pads as well. I didn't really need new pads. You know, these are the old pads here, which they're actually have plenty of life on them. And I have another kit that's brand new. I have, or not a kit, I have another set of pads that are brand new, and I have another set of pads that are used, but they have plenty of life on them on top of that. So I got like, what, four? I, I might have, I might have maybe five sets of, of brake pads for this bike. <clears throat> now, depending on how these front brakes feel, if, if they're real nice, I'm going to rebuild the rear one too. I might rebuild that one this year as well. Because I think, the, I mean, the rear one's strong. But, you know, when I first got the bike, guys, the rear brakes were real strong. And now they're like, they're strong, but they're not as strong. So I'll bet you maybe that caliper is going to need rebuilt as well. So, let me show you guys a picture of the... Uh, Caliper on the bike. Yeah, that's all I have to do is bleed it. I have. I don't think I have enough dot five. I'll probably have to buy more dot five. So that's that. There you go. We're not putting those little half moons on there again, guys. Now the kit, the rebuild kit, did not come with a new bleeder screw. I think it should have, but you know that one's okay. You know, I have to get caps for these, too. I gotta get caps for those guys so no dirt goes inside there.